Welcome to the introduction of your daily dose of joy. Today we're setting our course on a thrilling exploration, shedding light on an important facet of our day-to-day -day routine. Steady your nerves as we unravel the enigma of creating a gym plan that could propel you from the starting point to the zenith of personal fulfillment. More than just another episode, this is your blueprint to be the best version of yourself, and believe us, you wouldn't want to skirt the thrill it. Therefore, buckle up as we're about to unlock the secrets to a healthier, mightier, and more joyful you hash daily dose of joy hash. Gym plan revolution. Disclaimer. The information that guides this demonstration is derived directly from a well-researched article by nerdfitness.com comma, a trusted source in the field. The essence of this presentation is to offer insight into creating an effective gym plan. However, it's crucial to emphasize that we are not professional fitness advisors. The complexities and individualities of fitness warrant professional advice. Hence, if there is any confusion or uncertainty surrounding individual gym plan, we strongly recommend consulting a personal trainer. The aim of this demonstration is to inform, inspire, and guide, not to replace professional advice. Under the title, Plan Schedules and Exercises, it is paramount to note that creating a workout regime should be a personalized process that is built around an individual's age, specific goals, nutritional approach, and available free time. However, the risk of overcomplicating this process is high, given that there are countless exercises, sets, repetitions, and programs available to select from. Therefore, it's crucial to embrace a simplified yet effective approach tailored to your unique needs and circumstances. What's your get in shape situation? Weight loss your target? Fantastic. Perhaps muscle buildup is what you're after? Excellent. Or maybe you're gearing up for your first ever 5K run? Superb. Regardless what your specific goals are, it's crucial to note them down and constantly be conscious of what you're striving to achieve. The of setting these goals cannot be overstated as they essentially dictate the structure and focus of your workout regimen. A clear awareness of your objectives will ensure you're on the right track to reaching your fitness aspirations. What exercises should I do to lose weight or build muscle? It's a common question and the step-by-step -step answer is rather simple. Instead of complicating matters, we advise choosing a straightforward full body routine that you can perform two to two to three times per week. This routine should ideally have at least one exercise for each muscle group, including your hamstrings, chest, shoulders, triceps, back, biceps, grip muscles, and of course, your core. What's critical to remember as you step into this program is the importance of strength. The goal isn't just about losing weight or building muscle, it's also about becoming stronger. Our advice, put plainly, is to get strong. Emphasize mastering basic movements step by step and concentrate on enhancing your strength every week. If you can improve your performance in fundamental exercises like squats, deadlifts, pull-ups, and push-ups, step by step, you'll sculpt an impressive physique you can be proud of. Simple answer. For each exercise, it's suggested that you complete anywhere from three to five sets, with each set consisting of eight to 10 repetitions when you're just beginning. In the early stages of establishing your workout routine, there are a few basic principles about repetitions to bear in mind. If your goal is to shed fat while also developing muscle, aim to accomplish between 8 to 15 repetitions per set. Should you find that you're able to surpass 15 reps without breaking a sweat, it might be time to think about enhancing the weight or amplifying the complexity of the movement. This recommendation applies to a range of exercises including lunges, bodyweight squats, push-ups, pull-ups, and so on. How long should I wait between sets? The goal is to wait the least amount of time you need, but still rest enough that you can perform all reps of the next set safely and properly. How much weight should I lift? The simple to learn but tough to implement answer, lift enough so that you can get through the set, but not too much that you have no fuel left in the tank at the end. How long should I exercise for? If you're doing 15, 25 sets of total exercise, three, five sets for your five exercises, you should be able to get everything done within that 45 minute block. Now, factor in a five or 10 minute warm up, and then some stretching afterward and the workout can go a little bit longer. If you can go for over an hour and you're not completely worn out, try increasing the intensity, less time, more intensity, better results. How to create supersets and circuit training workouts. Hash one, supersets. The NSCA defines it as, a superset is performing two exercises in a row on two different muscle groups. For example, a superset could look like performing a set of squats, waiting one minute, 
performing a set of dumbbell presses. Waiting one minute, then doing your next set of squats, hash two. Circuit training. A circuit requires you to do one set for every exercise, one after the other, without stopping. How many days per week should I train? Focus on building proper habits and set a goal of two, three full body workouts per week. A Monday, Wednesday, Friday workout routine works well to ensure enough time to recover, especially when you are just getting started. How to record your workouts and progress. Last but not least, keep a workout journal. As they say, that which gets measured gets improved. You should be getting stronger, faster, or more fit with each day of exercise. If you see your numbers improving, more weight, faster times, etc., then you're getting stronger and gaining more lean muscle mass. Conclusion. If you want to build from scratch, great. Let's break it down into easy chunks with this recap. Always warm up. 5. 10 minutes on a bike, rowing machine, jumping jacks, running up and down your stairs, etc. Get the blood flowing and your muscles warm. Pick one exercise for each big muscle group. Quads, butt and hamstrings. Push, pull, and core. Do 3, 5 sets for each exercise. Do 5, 10 reps per set for each exercise. Determine how many reps and how long you'll wait between sets for each exercise. Keep it simple, 60 seconds. Increase your efficiency and work your heart by doing supersets or circuits. This results in a higher epoch meaning greater caloric expenditure and weight loss. Keep your workout to under an hour. Stretch after your workout. Write everything down. Give yourself permission to mess up, learn a little, and keep improving as you train more regularly. Out reduction. And if you don't want to figure any of this out and just want to be told exactly what exercises, sets, and reps to do, there are many online coaches that can take care of that for you. After viewing. Also, if you find this content helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to hear more from us, subscribe to the channel and share it with other people you think this video will benefit them.